out there. Let's see if I could do this. Where it's, you can see everything. Okay. Well, got to this in. There we go. Rock and Dave. North Fort Myers. Southwest Florida. Yours truly the real deal. The gigging guitarist. Okay. So, we got this amp a couple of weeks ago. This is the uh, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe George Benson model. And uh, I absolutely love the, the sound of this amp and the cosmetics. Um, I want to show you guys something here that uh, a YouTuber friend of ours, that Dana, had mentioned. And I agree with him 100%. And this is one of the reasons why this amp is so cool. When you look at the controls from the front of the amp, see, there's the front of the amp. It's very easy to read. Well, minus my shadow. <laughs> it's very easy to read. You got all what you need to see is bam, right there. And because I'm inside, I got the volume <laughs> very low. I got the drive at around 7. And I have it on like a crunch. I don't have the more... Um, drive on and there's my my treble bass mid uh the master for the overdrive my reverb around three and the presence around four um let me just go ahead and do this sorry guys you know i do everything from the phone not because i'm a phony <laughs> far from that it's because it's very easy to load up videos from my phone no fuss, no muss. Okay. So, I'm using the Ibanez uh, RGA. This guy right here. It's got, a, it's got a nice little strat sound. I'll tell you that. Very reliable guitar. Like, very reliable. <clears throat> so, that's my bridge pickup full you know full uh, power that's the coil tab um, middle pickup and then coil tapped on the neck and then neck pickup full volume so it's a, it, it has um it's got the uh, two uh, 6L6 groove tubes, two 12AX7 preamp tubes, and one 12AT7 tube. And it has an uh, Italian-made uh, Italian Jensen 100-watt uh, speaker. This is 40 watts, but, you know, since George Benson's a jazz guitarist, he likes clean. So you can crank the amp, and it maintains the clean so that when you add distortions or overdrive, you get a very clear, punchy sound, which is kind of shocking. Um, but, but anyways, I'm, I'm plugged straight into the amp, and let's go to the uh, drive channel. And uh, I'm going to roll down my volume. Pick up with full tapping, and here's neck pickup in full. Now leaving the drive at at uh, at seven, he had to switch here with more drive, and this is what you get. So, with the more drive on, I'm just gonna crank the drive all the way. Okay, now I'm going to hit the button and take away the more drive. So now it's really just a crunch. But the drive is all the way at 12. Or, yeah, 12. So it really does have a nice, nice tube overdrive sound. 
And, um, but I was surprised when I ran the, the uh, ME70 into this at the gig. And, um, you know, the secret with a lot of these effects is how you back down on your gain, how you use your EQ in conjunction with the amp. That's, that's the secret, you know. And it worked out great. I think it worked out really great, uh, which is surprising because usually when it comes to guitar amplifiers, I actually like the overdrive that's in the amp because when you when you use that overdrive, the amp it just it sounds big, it sounds very punchy. But I was again, you know, surprised. So here we go back on the uh, clean channel. So I mean, this amp's got a great, great sound. Now, again, that's like your would be your strat sound. Here's the uh, neck pickup, double coil pickup. There's the neck pickup with the uh, tone down. So yeah, it's um again I'm very very pleased with this amp. And um but that's what it sounds like plugged straight in, no effects, just the amp itself. <laughs> So if anyone wanted to know what they sound like, you know, in more of a jazzy, bluesy setting, you know. I'll do several videos using this amp. Um, next video I, I'll put up will be with the ME70 and then I'll do another video with the Digitech. Any type of effect unit that you use, multi-effect unit, let's say, the uh, secret is, is turning off the preamp and the amp sim and sp speaker simulators. Turn those off and then start from there and just dial in the tone that you're looking for. Don't worry about what other people are going to think or say, you know, because uh, there's a lot of people that don't have money to buy all these boutique pedals and all that and you know i mean honestly it's like they just took old technology and they did make it better with better components i'll give them that but i mean really two hundred dollars three hundred dollars for an overdrive pedal you know i mean at what point is it gonna be like okay i'm spending all this money and i'm seeing very little results compared to the money that got spent everything's in your hands you know if you're a good musician and tone is always subjective but if you're a good musician you should be able to make anything sound good and i'm not trying to say anything bad about anybody i'm just trying to help all of you out there from taking you to the poorhouse because now you just blew all this money on stuff that you don't really need because someone said something no you gotta look what's what works for you and if you could afford it and if you like it then okay if you cannot afford it, I'll tell you what, man. I'll take anything out. As long as it stays in tune and it works, I'll take it out on a gig. I've done a lot of them like that. So, you know, my, my advice is coming from 100% gigging. Experience it out there, what it's really like, you know. But anyways, it's anything else is your personal taste. So, always remember that. And, um... What if what works for you may not work for me? What works for me may not work for you, but that's okay, because again, and and the bot at the end of the day, it's your money you're spending, and you're the one that's going to be playing it, not me. So, I hope these videos are going to be helpful because I will be putting up a series of these videos to show you what you can and cannot do, and what's going to sound good, and what might not sound good for me. You might like it. So, anyways, Rock and Dave, this is the Fender. Hot Rod Deluxe, George Benson model. Rockin' Dave, and as always, if you like the video, leave a comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Give me a thumbs up if you like. 
subscribe, but only if you want to. I don't make anybody, I'm not begging for friends. I just want people to be honest. Till next time, God bless my friends and rock on. Take care.